so I'm back at the boat this weekend. Got to make sure everything's going in the right direction. So we're working on the fore cabin again. Yeah. Let's just turn around and have a look. Still empty. We're just needing to get the chain out of the way because working on that bulkhead is one of the jobs. And we're first going to put the chain where it's actually going to go to just to check we've got enough space. Um, and then after that, we've just been thinking, where can we hide 80 meters of chain? <laughs> and for the moment, it'll go uh, under the saloon floor on top of the keel uh, where Jane's standing well, there. We've just dumped all the rest of the tools. Well, we've put all the other tools and things, so they're gonna have to be moved out of the way again. Always uh, boat shuffle. Anyway, let's get on with it. In super wide view, this shows the chain as it will be in our new chain locker. One thing that we ha will do is build a little cage around here going all the way down so that we can pump out any water that comes in with the chain. Probably a whole metre further aft than it used to be, but we have a lot heavier and more chain than they used to have. Let's get that chain fully out of the way and we can start templating for bulkheads. We're looking now at um, our guest bunk is going to be here and to be 1.9 meters long, about six foot three, this needs to go 200 millimeters further forward. Mm. So uh, what we're actually gonna do first, we're gonna start at the front and work backwards. So we'll cut this out and at the 200 millimetre point for further forward, we're going to put a replacement for this that will go right the way down to the V of the hull and that will be our forward watertight bulkhead. Once we've got that in place, we can put a batten on the back edge of it and a batten there and a batten here and then put a lid on and this area here becomes our second waterproof crash bulkhead. The beauty is that this bulkhead here, when we've strengthened it and tabbed it in properly, is above the waterline. So if we needed to do a repair inside here, we can use the underwater epoxy and even if that's full of water, it's not going to be um, sinking the boat. We can get into there, do a repair if we've hit something uh, and as this bit down there includes where the water line is, it's a really obvious place where you might get um, uh, damage from hitting something. And then if the damage isn't there, but it's here in the anchor locker, then in the chain locker, then all we do is get the chain out. And again, the water can't flood the boat. It'll be high enough so it doesn't flood the boat and we could do a repair here. Now that we've got that forward bulkhead out, Jane's doing a bit of cleaning so that we can sand it. Once we've sanded all of that, we think we're going to put a coat of epoxy, thin epoxy on it, just to make sure everything is beautifully sealed. And to do that, I'm also going to go into the anchor locker on deck to open up the holes that were used for bolts in the past so we can fill those with thickened epoxy. Once that's ready, we, we can install the new bulkhead which goes where that pencil mark is, which is almost yeah. invisible. Oh, the end, there. Yeah. <laughs> you can see the difference. Sorry about the flashing LED light. Let's just turn that off. Uh, you can see the difference since Jane's cleaned it and now been sanding it and while she was doing that I have ground out the holes from the anchor locker above so I'll go and show you that now. So this is the old anchor locker 
I've ground the bottom so you can see there's what eight bolt holes all together that we need to fill but our windlass is going to be at this level there a new structure to be built for that which will of course rest on that plinth it's Saturday morning and we're multitasking so first job is we've got the fan heater trying to get the resin warm enough that it will turn back to liquid meanwhile Jane is cleaning the next section before we sand it and I've been preparing these strips of plywood which um, we're getting from Ian Nicholson's book on building your own boat and we'll epoxy those to the hull approximately where they're sitting at the moment and that way you uh, avoid a hard spot on the hull the loads from the bulkhead are distributed over that wider area. <laughs> Jane's found a nice comfy spot to do the uh, acetone wipe down from. I think the epoxy is nearly ready to be mixable so we can get on with that coating. Jane's just mixing the epoxy so while she's doing that let me just show you the bit that I'm going to glue up first with the epoxy. These are all so that these plates go against the side of the hull. This bit here I'm going to glue and screw to that so that when it's against the side of the hull like that we have something to push the bulkhead against. So the bulkhead will come in like that against there we'll be able to fill all that joint with thickened epoxy and it means that the side here that we can't reach does have a brace and does have some uh, strength from the thickened epoxy and it will hold this bulkhead in place while we then uh, put an epoxy fillet on it and then cover the whole um, aft side of it in fiberglass. So these are um, two short ones that go above the stringers, two longer ones that go below it and these are tapered where they join in the V at the bottom of the hull. Meanwhile what a difference this weekend. It's the first time we've been here this year where there hasn't been any snow on those mountains. It's sunny, we had some rain earlier this morning but now due to be dry for the rest of the day. Apologies if it's a bit flickery from the LED light, but you can see we've now got these side pieces um, epoxied in, fastened with thickened epoxy, so they will give us both the spread to avoid hard points on the hull, but also something to push the bulkhead against. So we'll probably do one bulkhead up to about the stringer level, uh, an overlap behind it and then fill up with the expanding foam and then put the smaller part on the top and then fiberglass right across the whole of that. You can also see the tape on the top there we filled all the holes from the anchor locker so no more water coming in here but we've got it up to 22 degrees in here so that should set quite nicely. That's all for this weekend. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, give us a thumbs up.